Hello kids! How are you today? Welcome to another day of learning opportunity. This is Teacher Camille, your English teacher for today's lesson. Our lesson for today is all about writing a diary. Are you ready? Great! At the end of the lesson, you are expected to write a diary to express memorable experiences with friends and families. To start our lesson, I have here an activity for you. You are going to read the following routines below and write the proper activities in each column. Are you ready? Let's start! Let us read first the following routines below. A. Eat breakfast B. Read bedtime stories C. Wear pajamas D. Play E. Eat midnight snacks F. Pray before sleeping G. Exercise and Letter H. Go to school now let us put the following routines to its proper column. We eat breakfast during daytime. We read our bedtime stories at nighttime. We wear pajamas at nighttime. And we play during daytime. We eat our midnight snacks during nighttime. And we pray before sleeping at night time. We do our exercise at daytime and we go to school at daytime. Very good kids! <laughs> do you know what is this? Very good! It's a diary. Do you know what a diary is? A diary is a book in which you note down your day-to-day -day experiences, feelings, memorable experience, and adventures. It is just a way of expressing your feelings, emotions, and experiences in your own words. A diary entry helps you relieve old memories. It can be happy or sad. It helps you realize how changes took place in your life, the decisions taken by you, and their outcomes. It is like a friend whom you can share your feelings and thoughts. A diary entry has also different parts. The first one is the date or the day. The second one is the salutation. The third one is the body, and the last one is the closing. Here is an example of a diary. October 8, 2021 Dear Diary, Today was my 8th birthday. We had a simple celebration at home. My mom cooked my favorite spaghetti and fried chicken. She also baked a special chocolate cake for me. I received a surprise gift from my sister too. I was very happy because despite of this pandemic, we can still celebrate my birthday. Truly yours, Princess. October 8, 2021 is the date or the day. For the salutation, Dear Diary is an example of a salutation or greetings. Next is the body, which includes feelings, emotions, incidents, experience, and reactions. And lastly, the complementary clothes such as a signature or a name or a word like good night or goodbye. Now here are some tips in writing a diary. The first one is write in a chronological order. 
starts with events that happened early in the day and end with events that took place in the evening. Number two is write in the first person. Use pronouns such as I, we, us, were, and I'm. This will make you feel part of the story. Number three is you should write your diary in a detailed description. Give detailed information about places, objects, people, and events. Avoid describing what is not needed. Your diary has to include your personal touch so you are not going to write about something you are not interested in. Number 4. Familiar Events Talk about events that involve you, your family, or close friends. Avoid talking about strangers and events you were not involved in. And lastly, explain why. If you are sad, remember to explain why. Don't write just, I am sad today. If you were happy, tell your diary, why are you happy? So don't be afraid to write about your feelings and emotions. After all, it is your personal diary and you share everything with it. Now let us try to apply what you have learned. Direction Identify the parts of the diary in each number. Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 And number 4 Now let us check your answers. Number 1 is the date. Number 2 is the salutation. Number 3 is the body. And number 4 is the closing. Good job, kids! <laughs> now let us try to check your understanding. Direction. Read the sample diary below and answer the following questions. October 8, 2021 Dear Diary, Today has been the best day ever as Dad took me and my brother to the team park. We arrived at 9 a.m. and my brother and I jumped out of the car and ran to the entrance with Dad just behind us. I was jumping up and down. I was that excited. We went on a few rides to start like the merry-go-round, the fun house, and the teacups. Dad spun the teacups round so fast, and my brother and I had tears in our eyes and our sides hurts from laughing. It was the best day ever, and I had so much fun with my dad and brother. We got a balloon each at the end of the day, and we even got to have an ice cream. Love, Amisa. Question number one. Who wrote the diary? A. Father B. Brother C. Amisa Or letter D. Annika Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Amisa. Number 2. When did she write her diary? A. October 8, 2020 B. October 8, 2021 C. October 8, 2000 Or letter D. October 8, 2022 The correct answer is... Very good! Letter B. October 8, 2021 Question number 3. Where did she go on that day? A. School B. Church C. Beach Or letter D. Team Park The correct answer is... 
Letter D. Very good. At the theme park. Question number four. What did she feel while writing her diary? A. Happy B. Sad C. Angry or letter D. Lonely The correct answer is Very good! She was happy! And for the last question, how did she describe her day in her diary? A. Sad B. Terrible C. The Best or letter D. Gloomy And the correct answer is That's right! It was the best day ever! Well done, kids! <laughs> Always remember, a diary is a daily record which one keeps with entries arranged by date reporting on what has happened over the course of a day or other period. Our diary should reflect our thoughts about a person, event, place, and experience that interest us the most. Does writing a diary is important? Of course! Writing a diary is important. It helps us to be reminded of the things in the past. By writing down our feelings and emotions, problems and questions, we will be able to reflect on them more clearly. You can decorate your diary as well. You can decorate it with fancy stickers, add bookmarks, and used color pens and many more. Here are some sample personal diaries. And for our evaluation, this is what you're going to do. On your English module, fill in the blanks and write your own morning diary. I will give you 2 minutes to do the task. Are you ready? Let's start! Good job, kids! Yay! That's all for today, kids! I hope you learned something today. Always remember, 
learning in English is fun! Hello!